Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. So before we get started, I want to first take note that we will not be cutting uh, this blank key. This is only a video to program a remote and in this case, of course, we don't have this cut key. So we're only going to be using this one that's already cut. And the way we're going to do that, the reason why we're on the table here is we're going to remove this key, this cut key, and also this one. But we're only going to use this one on the car and the way we're going to do that is you're going to press on the button ever so slightly and just halfway rotate the key and you can see there that there's a pin right here and then your new key is also going to have the same deal and that is how you remove this blank key and the the cut key from your uh, oem remote now this video is mainly to serve someone who bought a programmable key fob but does not plan on cutting their key. So I went ahead and put an old hoodie on my table here and we're gonna get started with this original key. So we're gonna find our pin, which is right there. And the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna hold pressure on this side of the key so that the key doesn't wanna tilt on me because the key is a little higher to uh, from, the, from the surface than the fob is, okay? So anytime I put pressure over here, it's gonna be doing that. So in order to avoid that, keep one finger here and one finger on the uh, key. So I'm going to press the button, and rotate it slightly, and then I'm going to hit this pin. Get some pretty good little hits. Okay, so now we're out. Okay, I'm going to bring it up close here. And we're out. I don't know if you can see right there. Okay, that pin, let's focus here. Uh, that little pin's coming out. So then we're gonna get some uh, little cutting pliers. Okay, if my uh, my camera would focus here. I get some little cutting pliers and we're just gonna pull up on that little pin. Unless you have some, uh, I'm gonna work it out, work it out slowly. I'm working it out, working it out basically walking it there we go i have the pin right here i'm going to set that down and then i'm going to pull the key out now let's do the same thing which i will do it off camera we're going to do the exact same thing to this one and then we're, we're going to walk over to the car and we're going to program this key fob so before we move forward to the car i want to first take another note that there is a right and wrong way that this key goes in to this slot right here right in the back of this key you can tell that there's a slot and that slot is designed to go in a line right here with that pin see that that slot goes facing towards the pin so this is exactly how it would go okay so we're here in the car we have our original blade which has our original uh cut and we have our new fob and our original fob this one doesn't do anything. I'm pressing the buttons. And this one right here, it does. It works. Now, in case you heard the trunk open, I don't know if that came up on camera, but this, this uh, key fob is going crazy. So anytime I press one button, everything else presses as well. So that's the reason why I'm replacing this fob. So we're going to go ahead and get started with programming it. Again, look, I'm going to do it here to this one nothing's working okay so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to insert completely in the correct way uh the key the cut key into our original fob and we're going to start the car <laughs> same way okay right now it stayed in there that's fine we're gonna insert this key fob in the exact same orientation and then we're gonna start the car okay and you want to do that right away right after uh, that way this key can get can accept the program from the car so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna let this key sit there with the car on for a little bit get about like I said, about 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, one. 
and the car had already been on for about another five seconds prior to that it's okay if it stays here you can easily pull it out now in the event that your remote does not work right now open your door because right now my infotainment center is on so i'm gonna go ahead and open it just kind of like to kill everything and right now let me close my door again i'm gonna hit the buttons and hopefully we're programmed so let's lock the doors okay and let's unlock uh let's hit the uh trunk okay it didn't pop because, like I said, the other remote uh, has a tendency of doing everything. So when I had hit the, the lock button before, it had actually already opened my trunk. But I heard the uh, BCM control everything and, and, and uh, send the signal to open the trunk. So I heard it. It works. This remote is now programmed. Once you have completed programming your key fob, you can then grab your cut key and insert it into your new key fob and then use a pair of pliers or vice grips as shown on this photo to drive in the pin. Well if you found value in this video please hit that like button so that it lets YouTube know that this is good content and consider subscribing for more car videos. Thank you guys for watching until next time.